From South Korea down to Australia, a surge of new COVID-19 cases fueled by the highly infectious Delta variant has governments scrambling to respond. Australia's capital Canberra entered a one-week lockdown. The city reported its first locally transmitted case in more than a year in the Australian Capital Territory, ACT. This decision is as the result of a positive COVID-19 case in the Territory, a case that has been infectious in the community. We also have positive wastewater detections around the ACT. Two of Australia's largest cities, Sydney and Melbourne, are also seeing high infection rates, despite weeks of being locked down. For the first time in the pandemic, South Korea posted more than 2,000 new daily cases earlier in the week. It led to a plea from the government for people not to travel this upcoming holiday weekend. If we don't stop, coronavirus won't stop either. I would like to say to the public that we ask you to refrain from traveling, to stay at home during this Liberation Day holiday. As many of the new cases are outside the heavily populated metropolitan Seoul area, officials are concerned that those returning to the city could bring COVID-19 with them. This week, the first of more than one million Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh started to receive COVID-19 vaccines. 20,000 infections and 200 deaths have been recorded in the Cox Bazar district, location of the refugee camps. We came here with happiness in our heart. We have received the shot after coming here. It's good to see that they are treating everyone equally and managing the process lawfully. The usually bustling streets of the Philippine capital Manila reduced to a trickle of traffic. Only those with authorization can leave their homes. The government imposed the heavy 14-day lockdown this week, as like many of the neighboring nations, it works to stem the rapid spread of new COVID-19 infections and a spike in deaths from the virus. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.